Hello children I am back with another revision class of English for standard 1 The topic we will be dealing today are number 1 pros having fun in the park which is chapter 5 of your conquer english textbook pros having fun in the park which is chapter 5 of conquer english textbook and the second topic is gram gender and opposites the second topic is gender and opposites which is grammar let us begin with the pros you had already done this chapter so I begin by giving you a brief summary of having fun in the park. Tina and Ram go to the park along with Sam, Amir, Jagjit and Riya. Tina and Ram goes to the park with their grandmother and grandfather the park is very pretty it has many trees and flowers it has many birds it has many colorful butterflies as well the children play in the park they also have fun here there are swings in the park the children swing on the swings there are slides in the park the children slide on them there are also seesaws where the children sit on them they go up and down The children play hide and seek. They sit on the soft grass. Tina's grandmother tells them a story. They listen to the story. The children go home before it gets dark. Tina's mom and dad want them to be home before it gets dark the children are very good they listen to their mom and dad now let us begin with our revision answer the following questions answer the following questions question number 1 What makes the park look pretty and colorful? So children, as you already know, the butterflies make the park look pretty and colorful. Is it clear? So question number 1, what makes the park look pretty and colorful? The answer will be the butterflies make the park look pretty and colorful question number 2 what do the children do on the slides the answer will be the children slide on the slides question number 2 what do the children do on the slides the children slide on the slides question number 3 what do the children do on the seesaws so what will be the answer children the children sit on the seesaws and go up and down question number 3 What do the children do on the seesaws? The children sit on the seesaws and go up and 
down. Question number four. What does the grandmother do in the park? So, as you already know, the grandmother tells the children a story in the park. Question number four. What does the grandmother do in the park? The answer will be the grandmother tells the children a story in the park. Question number five. What do the children do on the swings? So children, what will be the answer? The children swing on the swings. Yes. Question number five. What do the children do on the swings? The answer will be the children swing on the swings. Question number six. When do the children go home? The answer. The children go home before it gets dark. Question number six. When do the children go home? The answer. The children go home before it gets dark. Now comes the opposites. Number one, soft. So children, what is the opposite of soft? Yes, the opposite of soft is hard. Number one, soft. Opposite is hard. Number two, sit. What is the opposite of sit? Stand. Yes. So the opposite of sit is stand. Number three, dark. The opposite of dark will be light. Number four, many. The opposite of many will be one. Next, I move on to fill in the blanks. Next, I move on to fill in the blanks. Number one, the park is very dash. So children, what is the park? Yes, the park is very pretty. Number one, the park is very pretty. Number two, Tina and Ram go to the dash. Tina and Ram go to the park. Okay, so Tina and Ram go to the park. Number three, the children go up and down on the dash. The answer will be, the children go up and down on the slides. Okay, children. Answer three, the children go up and down on the slides. Number four, the children have dash in the park. The answer will be, the children have fun in the park. Next, write whether the following statements are true or false. Number one, the park is very pretty. Yes, it is true. Number one, the park is very pretty. The answer is true. Number two, the children sleep on the soft grass. So here the answer is false. Why children? Because the children sit on the soft grass. They do not sleep on the soft grass. So the children sleep on the soft grass. The answer is false. Number three, there are slides in the park. The answer is true. Number four, the park has many animals. Children, do the park has many animals? No. So, the answer will be false. Now, we move on to answer in one word. Number one, the children have this in the park. What does the children have? Fun. So the answer will be fun. 
Question number two. The children play hide and seek here. So where do the children play hide and seek? Park. So the answer will be the children play hide and seek here. The answer is park. Number three. They are very good. What will be the answer? Children. The children are very good. These exercises will be done by your own. These exercises will be done by your own. Write the meanings. Number one, dark. Number two, pretty. Next, make sentences with the following words. Make sentences with the following words. Number one, flowers. Number two, children. Number three, park. Next, fill in the blanks. Number one, the children play dash and seek in the park. Number two, the children dash down the slides. Next, write whether the following statements are true or false. Number one, Tina and Ram go to the jungle. Number two, the children sit on the mud. Answer in one word. Number one, the children play here. Number two, this is very pretty. Next, answer the following questions. Question number one. What do the children play in the park? Question number two. Who are very good? Question number three. With whom did Tina and Ram go to the park? Now comes the next topic. Gender and opposites. Gender is a word that states whether a noun is male or female. There are three types of gender. They are masculine, feminine and neuter. A noun that denotes a male person or animal is said to be of the masculine gender. Example, men, boy, cock, etc. A noun that denotes a female person or animal is said to be of the feminine gender. Example, woman, girl, hen, etc. Now let us begin with our revision. Change from masculine to feminine gender. Number one boy. The answer is girl. Number two son. The answer is daughter. Number three king in masculine will be queen in feminine. Number four uncle in masculine will be aunt in feminine. Number five, father, will be mother in feminine. Number six, prince, will be princess in feminine. Number seven, grandfather, will be grandmother in feminine. Number eight, sir, will be madam in feminine. Number nine, brother, will be sister in feminine. Number 10, horse in masculine, will be mare in feminine. Number 11, nephew in masculine, will be niece in feminine. Number 12, bull in masculine, will be cow in feminine. Number 13, man in masculine, will be woman in feminine. Number 14, tiger in masculine, will be tigress in feminine. 
number 15 gentleman in masculine will be lady in feminine. I repeat, number one boy in masculine will be girl in feminine. Son in masculine will be daughter in feminine. Number three king in masculine will be queen in feminine. Number four uncle in masculine will be aunt in feminine. Number five father in masculine will be mother in feminine. Six prince in masculine will be princess in feminine. Number seven grandfather in masculine will be grandmother in feminine. Number eight sir in masculine will be madam in feminine. Number nine brother in masculine will be sister in feminine. Number ten horse in masculine will be mare in feminine. Number eleven nephew in masculine will be niece in feminine. Number twelve bull in masculine will be cow in feminine. Number 13 man in masculine will be woman in feminine. Number 14 tiger in masculine will be tigress in feminine. Number 15 gentleman in masculine will be lady in feminine. Now let us begin with the opposites. Opposites are word pairs that are related but Totally different in meaning. Write the opposites for the following words. Write the opposites for the following words. Number one, laugh. The opposite will be cry. Okay, children. Number two, far. The opposite will be near. Number three, give. The opposite will be take. Number four, less. The opposite will be more. Number five, one. The opposite will be many. Number six, night. The opposite will be day. Number seven, light. The opposite will be dark. Number eight, high. The opposite will be low. Number nine, never. The opposite will be always. Number 10, sit. The opposite will be stand. Number 11, full. The opposite will be empty. Number 12, dry. The opposite will... Number 12, wet. The opposite will be dry. Number 13, heavy. The opposite will be light. Number 14, love. The opposite will be hate. Number 15 before, the opposite will be after. I repeat, number 1 laugh, the opposite will be cry. Number 2 far, the opposite will be near. Number 3 give, the opposite will be take. Number 4 less, the opposite will be more. Number 5 one, the opposite will be many. Number 6 night. The opposite will be day. Number 7, light. The opposite will be dark. Number 8, high. The opposite will be low. Number 9, never. The opposite will be always. Number 10, sit. The opposite will be stand. Number 11, full. The opposite will be empty. Number 12, wet. The opposite will be dry. Number 13, heavy. The opposite will be light. Number 14, love. The opposite will be hate. Number 15, before. The opposite will be after. The following exercises will be solved by your own. Children, you will solve the following exercises on your own. Complete the pairs. Number 1, gentleman and dash. Number two, grandfather and dash. Number three, king and dash. Number four, prince and dash. Number five, hero and dash. Number six, bull and dash. 
Number seven, father and dash. Number eight, horse and dash. Number nine, sir and dash. Number ten, lion and dash. Underline the nouns in the following sentences and say whether they are masculine or feminine. Number one. My uncle is a kind person. Number two, Tara has a sister. Number three, the boy is studying. Number four, Mohini went to her aunt's house. Number five, the cow and hen live on the farm. Match the following words. With their opposites. Match the following words with their opposites. Number one, bad. Number two, big. Number three, cold. Number four, dark. Number five, fast. Number six, high. Number seven, old. Number eight, short. Refer to the column B. Number one, good. Number two, hot. Number three, light. Number four, slow. Number five, low. Number six, small. Number seven, tall. Number eight, young. So children, today we come to the end of our revision lesson. Thank you.